Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. We put a lot of heart and soul into this. Yeah. During Wednesday's Kentucky Valley Education Cooperative's Fire Summit, three schools were recognized for their work on tiny houses. During last year's summit, students prepared a presentation of the design and work plan and explained the process of how their tiny house would be completed by April 12, 2017. Out of those presentations, Knott County, Lee County, and Phelps Area Technology Centers were each given a $15,000 grant from KVEC to start construction. That notion that kids who build, who design, who can do plumbing, electricity, build a building, um, is practical. It's a solution-oriented, driven curriculum. It's project-based. Students from Phelps Area Technology Center said building the tiny house taught them more than just construction skills. How to like manage our funds and really work with what time we have. Yeah, definitely that. Now, Teamwork. On the job yeah. experience, I, I came in here knowing nothing and we started building this big project and it's, it's helped yeah. me out a lot. Many who attended the fire summit say they were impressed by the tiny house project. They've, I think, turned out remarkably well and have surprised a lot of folks, not educators, because we know how good kids are, but a lot of people are impressed that kids are able to conceptualize an idea, take it all the way through to completion, and have that thing done. The tiny houses were auctioned off during yesterday's summit. All proceeds made from the auction went back into the project. Reporting in Pikeville, I'm Shelby Steele for EKB News.